My relationship with my hair is that I love my hair. <laughs> Very lucky. My hair does this. I mean, not without effort, obviously. It doesn't look like this all the time. I just did a photo shoot. <laughs> You'd really have to ask Phoebe Waller-Bridge how my hair became a narrative point in, in killing me. It's like there's something free or wild about uh, Eve's nature that I do think comes out in the hair. Hairstylists have told me is that my hair will do what you ask it to do. It wasn't always like this. When I grew up, it was just basically a puffy mass even into my uh, early 20s, I still could not figure out my hair. I cannot imagine my budget on how much product I use. I could take an entire bottle of product and put it in my hair and you would never notice. It's like you never do this. I always know that someone doesn't understand my hair when they come at me with a hairbrush. I think one of the best tips I've received is to not wash your hair all the time. Not everyone can do it. So, so those of you who can't do it, dry shampoo. The towel that you use, the dryer that you use, the pillowcase that you use, that all affects in, in tiny ways. But I love my hair. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Yes, I'm going to tell you the entire plot line right now. No, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm already telling you enough. Honestly, by saying that I'm shooting, you know, our cliffhanger at the second series is, is Eve is shot. The biggest, like, spoiler alert now is the fact that I'm talking to you.